Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. This is step four in the one system package, if you will. Uh, this is applying the coating. So if you'll remember from the last video, uh, step three was all about wiping down with Universal Clean and Prep to get the absolute best bond and longevity out of whatever else you're going to put on top of that. So I have a um, master airbrush set up. This right here is plugged in back here, so I can't drag it up there. But this is a master airbrush model number TC320 compressor. Um, this regulator does literally does nothing. It doesn't add or take away pressure. Um, when this thing is on, it's on now. Notice how quiet it is, and it's putting putting a pushing water or air. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're pushing air through this 25 foot extension hose, hose, uh, which I highly recommend because it comes with a six footer. So anyway, it does have a inline filter. It has a, um, a gauge. This regulator doesn't seem to do much. It seems to only work at 60 PSI. Um, this right here is a Master Airbrush brand, model S622SET. Now, this is the gun, it's pretty awesome. It's an airbrush kit for airbrushing paint. Um, so I have, it came with three tips. I put the smallest one in, which I think was the 0.3, yeah. So this is the little vial it came out of. This, the one that's in there is the one that was in it uh, when I got it. So I put the 0.3 millimeter um, nozzle in there and that seems to work awesome. So, with that said, it's a nice little handy dandy little kit. So those are the parts. You will also need a respirator. I highly recommend wearing a respirator when you spray anything, especially when you're spraying indoors. Um, so we'll put that on in a second. Um, this airbrush gun comes with this little cup. Uh, this is actually a exactly a half of an ounce to the top of this little thing has a little straw there weird part about this deal and i've almost well i have dropped this a couple times i really need to order a couple extra ones because it is glass which i don't prefer but it is what it is it's a little heavy i feel like if it was plastic it would probably be better i have not looked into that yet um but on the front of this gun is where this little deal slides in just like that and you kind of just twist it in until it's snug. And then this is the trigger. So you press down and get air and back and you get juice. So that's where we're at. Um, as far as cleaning this thing out every time, all I do is put some undiluted um, Universal Clean and Prep in here just a little bit. And I spray it, um, run it through the gun. Then I will empty this clean it out then i'll put a little bit of rubbing alcohol in there and then run some rubbing alcohol just to clean it and make sure there's no nothing none of the coating is going to harden inside the gun and make it basically useless um the gun i think was 60 bucks it was a little bit more expensive uh than most other guns uh that compressor was 90 dollars, and then i think that extra uh, 25 foot hose was like 30 bucks if I'm um, not mistaken so super 7 my seven year ceramic acrylic and graphene coating right here this is one ounce of super 7 it takes a half of an ounce or less to do a vehicle with either one of these products this is triple trifecta this is the uh, label for that um, Super 7 will have a very similar label. I just don't have them yet. So 
it will only take a combined one ounce of product or less to do a whole vehicle with two coats. So basically one coat of Super 7, one coat of Triple Trifecta top coat. Um, so with that said, we're going to start with Super 7. So because I know it only takes a half of an ounce to do a full car, I'm going to go ahead and put a half of an ounce in there. So half of an ounce, half of an ounce. Okay, so we've still got a whole car left of Super 7. So then, screw on your cap. You put this guy right where it goes there. Then, you take your hose and it screws onto the bottom right here. Make sure it's tight so you don't have any air leaks. And basically, respirator always be safe better safe than sorry all right so got my respirator on hopefully you can hear me so i'm going to just show you on this fender how you lay it down Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just show you on this fender how to lay it down. All right, there you go. Make sure you've got even coverage. Then, normally I do all this with a respirator on and just keep trucking, but since I'm filming this for you guys, I'm gonna show you how to make this all happen. The first step is what I call the bulk knocker. We take a towel, a general towel, and we knock off the bulk. The first order of business, knock the bulk off. Okay, bulk's all knocked off. And you take our coating towel, it's brand new, detailjuice.com, coating towel. And you just look in the light and make sure there's no high spots. All right, so now you have one hour before Super 7 starts to set up to the point where it can't work together with Triple Trifecta Top Coat. Those two products work together chemically uh, to bond together and the molecules all work together when they're stacked within one hour. They will meet up and all play nice together and you will get a superior look, feel, and more durability out of the product. So uh, make sure it's all leveled out. Now you can go straight into applying triple trifecta top coat. If you're doing one panel at a time, you're gonna have to have two of those little cups, one with each product in it, um, or you're gonna have to basically go around the whole vehicle, which is what I recommend, one panel at a time with Super 7. Do the same process, you spray it on, and then you immediately knock the bulk off. Then right after that, you take your coating uh, leveling towel and you make sure you don't have any high spots. Then immediately after that, you can go right in to spraying and doing the exact same process with triple trifecta top coat. So 
With that said, I'm going to go ahead around the car with Super 7, and I'll be right back uh, before I apply Triple Trifecta Top Coat. All right, guys, I'm back. I have shot this whole car and leveled Super 7, wheels included. I used that much. What's gone? I did all four wheels, all the paint, all the glass, all the trim, everything. I've got that much left over from a 2020 Camaro, so awesome. So what I'm going to do now is just remove the little cup and I'm going to pour Super 7 that's left in here back in the uh, container. So, just like so. Now we'll discard that. And it's okay if there's a little bit of, if you combine the little bit that's left, I've done extensive testing on this. So now we've got triple trifecta top coat. So what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna put this in here right on top. So, There we go. Put the lid back on that. Now we have triple trifecta top coat right there. Get a towel, wipe it all off. Now We go straight back into coating this bad boy with this now. So, we will grab our respirator and put it on. And so you have one hour from the time you get done with your Super 7 application to get it coated with Triple top, trifecta top coat. So here we go. The spray pattern is so perfect out of this. All right, there we go. Now, take this off so you can hear me, and then I'll cut after that and finish up this car. So, with all of that said, you get your bulk knocker towel out, you knock it all down, okay? You're not trying to get it all smooth with this. What you want to do, like I said, is knock off the bulk. That's all you're trying to do with that bulk knocker towel. Then you take your fancy coating leveling towel. Then you look around, make sure it's all level. There's no high spots. I mean, it's, it's not difficult to make sure you don't have any high spots. That's for sure. But it's a very important situation. The high spots will look bad and they have to be polished away if they're fully cured. So, that's that on this 2020 Camaro Fender. Just to recap, you will always wipe down with Universal Clean and Prep before you apply any coating, any wax, any sealing, sealant, any of it. Universal Clean and Prep, then you spray on Super 7, immediately knock the bulk off, and then level it out, and then let it cure from there. Right after that, you use the exact same process for triple trifecta top coat. Within one hour of your Super 7 application, it will bond, it will fuse together, it will cross-link, and it will become a slick, deep, glossy, reflective, amazing surface that you've never seen before. It's pretty good stuff. Of course, I would say that. My name's on every bottle. But if you just give me an opportunity, 
to make you a customer um, and give me a chance by trying my products, you'll understand, look, I, I do this so that I can produce amazing for my customers. In doing that and making sure that my customers have the absolute best possible uh, service and basically products on their vehicles, I do lots of testing and I put a lot of effort into making sure that these products work well in the real world, not just some bullshit laboratory testing like most companies. Um, so the bottom line here is this isn't complicated, but you can either buy this setup or you can apply it by hand. So let me get set up and let me show you how to do it by hand without spraying it on. Okay, so now we're going to apply some triple trifecta top coat with a foam applicator. Now, I'm on the triple trifecta top coat step in my process, and uh, it's not going to hurt anything to put a layer over the layer that you just saw me shoot on, um, but for all intents and purposes, and so that I don't have to move this situation so I can show you what's going on, um, I'm just going to put another coat right on top of the coat that I just put on. Um, I don't think that it's going to matter too much putting more material on. Uh, it's basically, it's not cured yet, so all that's going to cure is one layer anyway. Um, basically because we're going to knock the bulk off. So foam applicator, triple trifecta top coat. Now this is, I'm going to, I'm going to demonstrate this with triple trifecta top coat. But the two products, Super 7 and Triple Trifecta Top Coat, they apply the exact same way. There's no difference. So once you've applied Super 7, just like I'm going to show you, you can then go right in to Triple Trifecta, just like I'm going to show you. So foam applicator pad, take the lid off. You put a couple little, little dabs on the foam applicator then you're just going to like this so that the surface of the pad is primed now now you're going to use more product doing it like this without a doubt you still will be able you're actually going to use about double so you're going to be able to get a whole car done with the one ounce for sure but if you use um the sprayer you're going to use less than a half of an ounce like I already showed you. So either way, you want to spread it as thin as you can. And that's why I like spraying it out of that, that sprayer. And even I like it, this sprayer set up way better than uh, the old uh, pancake compressor that I was showing you guys I was using before. Uh, mainly because that compressor atomizes so small. And it really, it just lays down the perfect amount with no waste. That's what I like. So anyway, I've applied triple trifecta top coat to this whole panel. Now, literally take your bulk knocker towel. And you wipe off the bulk, like I've already mentioned. Man, this stuff is slick and glossy. All right, so we've knocked the bulk off. Now we're going to take our coating leveling towel. And we're literally going to smooth it all out. We're going to go slow. We're going to look in different angles. I've got all kinds of nice lighting in here now. So that's what you need to pay attention to is making sure everything is even, everything is level, and everything looks amazing. And that's it. You wipe it on, you wipe it off. Wax on, wax off. Man, it's slick. And look at that gloss. Goodness. So it's not complicated, guys. It's really easy to do. And throughout all my years of using everybody else's coatings, I can finally say with 100% certainty, Super 7 and Triple Trifecta Top Coat are going to be around for a very long time. But beyond that, they are the finest coatings I have ever developed. Um, we worked really hard on this. Um, it just, it's been a labor, labor of love. I'm 
thrilled to death with just how durable it is and how well it protects from the elements. Um, but the ease of use is incredible compared to other coatings on the market. This stuff is super easy to use. It's hard to mess up. You definitely need to pay a lot of attention to what you're doing, but it's not likely you're gonna hurt anything. Worst case scenario, you might have to polish it off and then reapply it, but it's awesome. So this has been step four. That is the coating application process. And um, stay tuned for step five, which is basically trimming everything out, applying universal uh, dressing to the tires. And uh, basically that's it. That's the finishing touch of the detail. Wiping down with Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 with uh, triple trifecta technology. Uh, if you want, you don't have to. If you have any streaking or whatever, that's going to help get rid of that. Uh, inside the four-hour set process, uh, the both of the coatings take a full 24 to 48 hours for 100% cure. Within one hour, it will set. In four hours, it's pretty much about 95% outgassed. The solvent is evaporating leaving all of the good stuff behind and it is hardening uh, at the four hour area, but uh, 24 to 48 hours full cure. Uh, I usually let my customers do whatever they gotta do. Like they can pick the car up or they can drive it or whatever. After one hour, I tell them they can do whatever they want as long as they don't touch it. So uh, maintenance for these coatings is Literally, Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 with Triple Trifecta Technology. Uh, that particular product, um, you spray it on, wipe it in just like a detail spray, uh, but it's a spray coating. Uh, and I recommend doing that whenever you want, really. Um, every six months is a good rule of thumb. Uh, the reality is you don't have to use that, but if you want to extend the all of the benefits of having a coating, if you want to extend that to indefinitely that's when you would add in the booster um, or the maintenance product if you will but infinite use detail juice one with triple trifecta technology is an amazing product by itself um, and if you want something super easy to use that is amazing you spray it and you wipe it um, very much like the coating except for it's water-based um, so as far as maintenance goes, all you really need to do is wash at least once a month. Uh, it's detergent proof and all that good stuff. I recommend my soaps like Universal Shampoo from the One System. That's your best bet to uh, maintain this thing. And here's the thing. If you don't want to do it right, why would you want to do it at all? That's where I'm at. So thank you guys so much for watching. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on whole lot of this kind of stuff talking about in there uh, with lots of people. So uh, I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me babble. And this has been Super 7 Pro Hybrid Coating and Triple Trifecta Top Coat Pro. Well, that's the consumer version, but I have a pro package for it. So it's a pro product, if you will. And it is part of the one system. So thank you guys for watching. Check out DetailJuice.com for all your product needs. And if you want me to apply these coatings for you as a service, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day and check out step five.